guys. Thank you so much for all of the love and support I received on my first YouTube makeup tutorial. So today I'm just showing you how I do my makeup to look more fresh. And I'm a mom of two. Being a mom is exhausting. So I just want to show you little tips and tricks that I do to make my face look a little bit more fresh even if I'm feeling flat out exhausted on the inside. So I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and let's get started. If you are extremely tired and you just haven't been getting much sleep and it's just starting to show on your face, I really recommend using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender sponge, my number one makeup tool. I put it into my foundation now I'm going to bounce it all over my face. And this is just going to give my skin a nice even look to it. It's going to take away any excess shine and it's going to start hiding any imperfections. If you are tired, if you have dark circles under your eyes, this sponge combined with this foundation is going to be your new best friend. Don't forget about your neck. You want your foundation to blend in seamlessly with your neck and your chest. Already my skin is looking nice and even. Today I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape. This concealer is actually only available in the US right now. This is one of my favorite concealers. If you are in Dubai or anywhere else in the world and you don't have access to this concealer, the other one I recommend is the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. These are great concealers if you're in your 30s and you have fine lines and you feel like the some of the concealers that are on the market kind of settle into your lines and actually magnify them. Not a good look. And what I'm going to do is just kind of tap it onto my face. If you tend to have redness around your nose, which is typical for most women, it's just hormonal. You can put a little bit of the concealer right around your nose. So I'm gonna go back with the same Beauty Blender sponge and I'm going to tap it in. I am going to move on to pressed powder to kind of set all my makeup in. So I'm using the Dior Forever Compact in shade 020. Just using my big fluffy brush and I'm going to bounce it into my face. Okay, so my next step is to use this eyeshadow primer. This is by Too Faced and it's called Shadow Insurance and this is going to make sure that your eyeshadow stays in place all day long. So while I wait for the eyeshadow primer to dry, I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm doing Anastasia Brow Powder and Caramel today. I personally do not recommend doing threading or waxing on the eyebrows. So to bronze my skin today, I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs color in Tantric. And I'm going to use this angled brush from NARS. And I'm just going to give my skin a really nice glow. And so I'm going to use this Tarte blending brush because it just gives me more of that flawless, kind of really just blended in fresh base that I'm going for. I'm going to use this Becca Blush Trio. It's called Blush with Light. And I'm going to go for this shade, which is Wisteria. And I'm going to just put that on the apples of my cheeks using this Kat Von D angle brush. For my eyes, I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette. You can find this at Sephora. And I'm going to start off with the shade Divinity, and I'm going to put that all over my entire lid up to my brow bone. And I'm going to use a shade Almond Truffle mixed with a little bit of this mocha. And I'm going to put this on my eyelid around my crease. Just remember to pull your skin 
if you notice your brush getting stuck a little bit on your eyelid and the makeup not blending properly. Okay, now I'm going to use this shade Sprinkles with a little bit of cotton candy on my finger first and I'm going to just sort of blend this into my entire eyelid and I like this color because it's nice and bright and light and it's going to give me that effect that I really want. So I want to just create a little bit of kind of like a dimension to my eyelid and just give me a little bit of that oomph. So to do that, I'm going to put just a slightly darker shade. I'm going to go with the shade um, Mocha and put just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this malted on my brush and I'm going to just put it on the corner of my eye. I'm going to just blend this color into my crease and the corner of my eye. But now I'm going to put just a little bit of eyeshadow on my lower lash line just to help my eyes look a little bit more opened up. And I'm going to just dip it into this shade, this mocha shade. And I'm going to just kind of brush it onto my lower lash line. Just a little. Don't need to go crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to curl my lashes. This is such an important part of looking more fresh and awake. This is the Surat Beauty Eyelash Curler. I actually got this from Mario, who is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. I went to his master class this past year. He uses this particular eyelash curler on Kim. And I don't know if you can see this. I mean, I'm just looking in my mirror. My eyelashes are already looking so much like perkier and longer and, and um, on my lower lash line since I'm doing more of an awake look today I'm going to use this Urban Decay pencil this is called the Heartless and it actually has like a pinky tone to it and when you line your lower lash line with a white or a, a light shade like this it's going to make your eyes just look more open awake and kind of just a little bit more healthier. I'm gonna stick with this Mansoor Big Mascara I've been raving about. I can't get enough of it. I really like this mascara. This is my new favorite. And oh, it just makes my lashes look so fluffy and long. Like I just, I, I can't get enough of this mascara. Ladies, buy this mascara. So today for my lips, I want to go with a pretty rosy look because I want my face to look fresh. And to me, fresh just means kind of pink and glowy. So I'm going to use one of my favorite lipsticks by NARS. This is called Roman Holiday. And it is just a pretty pink color. And this is a Dior gloss. The color is... 676 Cruise. It's the Dior Ultra Gloss. It has just a nice easy brush applicator. It feels nice on my lips. It feels soft and just very comfortable to wear. I'm going to put on just a tiny, tiny bit of eyeliner. What I'm going to use is a liquid eyeliner I have by Dior. It's called the Art Stick. So I literally feel like I'm just drawing it right on my eyelashes. But today to highlight my cheekbones and just give me a little bit of a pretty glow, I'm going to use this shade in this Tom Ford Compact. This is the Sheer Cheek Duo in by Coastal. And I'm just gonna use my Anastasia brush and just kind of sweep it on the top of my cheekbones. If you don't have a highlighter, what you can do is just use one of your shimmery eyeshadows, like 
like a pearly type color, the shimmery bronzy color or a champagne and just use the eyeshadow on your cheekbones and you'll basically get the same effect. And to highlight the tip of my nose as well as the inner corner of my eye and right underneath my eyebrow, I am going to use this um, shade today. It's by Becca Cosmetics and the shade is called Moonstone. Now just use a small amount on the tip of your nose. So now I'm going to take this other little brush this, and I'm going to just put it on the inner corner of my eye. And this is going to give me a nice glow, help me look more awake and fresh. And I'm going to put just a little bit underneath my brow bone. And I am going to blend that in so it's not too apparent and just obvious. And this is just a run-of-the-mill blending brush from Juvia's Cosmetics. And there you have it. That is my fresh-faced, just feeling pretty makeup. But I am not done yet because when you're feeling tired and you just want to feel fresh and awake, you don't want to be wearing something that's gray or have your hair back in just a whatever ponytail. So I'm going to just show you a few more tricks to kind of help you get that awake feeling. Okay, so this is my final look. I decided to wear this green top because bright colors make me just look alive and fresh. And I accessorized it with this necklace which has similar colors to my top and it's just a pretty bright focal piece of my outfit. I'm wearing these studs and they help me just to have that glow that I'm in search of. If you don't have any type of bright stud, then I recommend wearing a pair of white earrings. And if you don't like to wear color and you're more of just a neutral type person, wear a white shirt and just accessorize some sort of silver jewelry will look beautiful. So I hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support. Please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And don't forget to like the video and leave a comment. Thank you so much. Yella, bye bye.